Well, with your luck, I wouldn't count on it. Cheerio, now. Hello. All right. Listen, uh, if you're going to come to court, then you better go and get changed. I don't think I could do it. Why not? Well, after what happened the other day, I'm supposed to look Peter in the eye if they find him guilty. Listen, if they do, it's down to him. Not anything you've said. Well, listen, if you really don't want to come, then why don't you stay here and keep your mum company, eh? Maybe even try talking to him. Ah, good idea, but uh, I'm actually not going to be here this afternoon. Where are we going? I'm going to go visit your dad. Again? And when were you thinking of sharing this with me, Mother? No, I'm just going to tell him that I'm not going to be visiting anymore. Not now this trial's nearly over. I am sick of him interfering in our lives. Not to mention my so-called love life. Mm. I can't imagine he's going to be too happy about that. Tough. Well, just make sure he gets the message this time. Oh, don't you worry. I will. So am I going on my own then, or what? Because that day. Uh... I prefer to have you beside me than sit through it all alone. Steve. Thank you. Afternoon, what can I get you? Part of the usual. Please. Sorry, you'll have to refresh my memory. That's okay. Happens at your age. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Ah, yeah. See you later. See you later. Horrible as it is, getting burgles just one of them things in life you can't avoid. Like piles or politicians. Well, it don't make it right, though, Beth. How would you feel if someone broke into your home and went through all your stuff? I want to get my hands on the little you know what's who did it. Bet you'd like five minutes in a lot room with them, wouldn't you? Could we you? possibly talk about something else? Yeah, come on, we brought Roy here, so we could forget about all that. Yeah, she needs right. Can we change the subject, please? Fine. So what do you want to talk about, then? <sighs> well, have you seen out good on telly lately? I tend to watch mostly the news and documentaries. Oh, I watch documentaries. Hey, did you see that one a while back about the bloke with the ten Beth. Well, what else are you into then? Football? Well, I, I quite like trains. So, you'll be all right covering? Oh, yeah, I'll be fine once lunchtime rushes over. It'll be calm again, won't it? You off anywhere nice? Prison. Oh, that's an old then. Mm. Sorry to interrupt, but any chance of getting a drink here, please? Can you see to that? Because uh, I need to get ready. Let me guess. Baking a cake with a file in it. If I were visiting you, it'd have poison in it. If you were visiting me, I'd eat it. Oh, go polish your head. Take it you two still haven't kissed and made up, then? If she says sorry, there's only one thing of mine she <laughs> Good luck with that. She's about as stubborn as you are. <laughs> I was worried you weren't going to come. Was that why you've been phoning me a dozen times a day? <laughs> and where did you get a phone from? I uh, know. <laughs> I, uh, I called in a few favours, so I did. I'm glad you're here. Well, in that case, you're not going to like what I've got to say. I won't be coming anymore. Why? We both know the reason why I make this trip, and it is not because I want to. <clears throat> so what you're saying is you've no feelings for me whatsoever? No. Do you know what? Even if I were head over heels in love with you, which I am not, don't you think I'd want a bit more than this? Well, what if I was to tell you I could give you a wee bit more? Hmm? I mean, what if I was to tell you that instead of you coming to visit me, you'd be the other way around? What are you talking about? I'm on the list for a move. Moved? Hmm. Where? To an open prison. Like, not immediately, you know, but soon. And do you know what that there means? No. Well, that means I'll be able to come and visit you and Steve. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That means I can come home. <laughs> <laughs> 